Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. Stay tuned and I'll show you a couple of tricks about getting drinking water from snow. Well, this will give you some indication of how much snow we still have. And there's the fire pit that I had the last time I had breakfast out here. So we still have a considerable amount of snow. As you're no doubt aware, snow is mostly air. So if you were to put that into a dry pot, on your fire, you've got a chance of scorching your pot. So one of the ways that I like to replenish my water supply when I'm out in the winter is to carry a bottle of water on a lanyard inside my jacket and then whenever I take a drink I'll reach down and replenish it with some fresh snow. And the heat that's already in the water and the heat from my body will quickly melt that snow. And I'm good to go. This wood is quite damp. We've had a lot of snow and rain lately. Um, this knife this knife. This saw is a Coughlin's small version. Um, I think I paid nine dollars for that at our local um, local army surplus store. It's really sharp. The other thing I should mention about this saw is that the top edge right here where you would typically put your thumb, you have to be careful not to bear down too hard on that, otherwise you'll cut yourself like I did.
The other method is to melt snow in a bandana near the fire. So what you'll do is you'll fill up your bandana with clean snow. And then you'll tie the corners together. I have a safety pin, so I'm just going to pin the four corners together. And then as this hangs next to a fire, it'll get warmed up and the bottom will start dripping. And so what you can do is you can just let it drip right into a cup. And as the fire warms up the bag of snow, it'll drip down into that cup. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me today on this, actually it's quite a nice day in April, and uh, until next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out.